this is a, a view from the boatyard where we're in Fremantle. This is a uh, Blue HQ. I've got this uh, great, great big launch next to me here. Whoops, let's go that way. And uh, down here is the car, the old ute, with some more plywood on it. Right behind us, big play boat. There's the great big boat lifter. You can see it's pretty well full. And this is Fremantle, West Australia. See you later. Hey, here we are. What day is it? Thursday. Thursday. It's been uh, 15, 14, 15, 16 days. Something 15 or 16 days now. And the epoxy and the cloth has now been put on. It's all been bogged up. I don't know if you can sort of see it. It's all shiny because I suppose it's had three coats of uh, epoxy on top of the uh, cloth. So it should be sort of getting dry slowly. And that's technically the front there, which is only about 100 and, I don't know, 150 mil. And although the mast goes through the, the, the deck there, it's actually not the mast, it's a, a section which holds the mast because the mast is actually bolted on over there. So yeah, so basically that's it. That's where we're up to. I've been doing a little bit of work down there on the, uh, on the rail, putting a piece of teak in, which the guy who originally built it left out. So yeah. So we're getting there, so uh, tomorrow, or well, the next day, I'll, I'll probably be sanding this and then undercoat and then start on the hull doing all the uh, you know bits and pieces, repairs and painting and etc. Ready for going back in the water, which will still be about two weeks. So stay tuned. Well, today is Sunday, the 20th. Yesterday, Saturday, just in the hour of rain, so I couldn't do anything. So what we're doing at the moment. We're going to be bogging sort of between this, this blue line and about there all the way along both sides of the boat and then a couple of other sort of little spots that need doing and, uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today as well as doing some repairs just up there putting some epoxy uh, those tiny little cracks just up there so that's where we're up to. Okay, so let's get into it. Well, this is the end of the day. And you can see some of the bits that have been bogged. And, uh, oops, didn't trip on the electrical cords. But that's basically where we're up to today. So I've done one side and I've done the other side. And I've just got to now sort of work on the whole part. But we'll get there. I'll stop and take a few photos now. So tomorrow will be three weeks actually. Well, here we are, day, uh, let me see, day 20, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, day 24. <laughs> so the top is done, sanded, bogged, and tomorrow it's going to get an undercoat. And uh, we've got some stainless rails up there, as you can see. Uh, our neighbour who sort of changed his rails gave them to us, so that looks good, they fit perfectly. I haven't bolted them on, they're just sitting there. So uh, yeah, all the hull is done as well, except for below the waterline, two more bits to sand, and then we'll be uh, undercoating that as well with epoxy. So I'll just go downstairs. Yeah, downstairs. So uh, there's the boat in all its glory, with some of the, uh, the green masking tape and the, and the green uh, tape at the waterline level down there. 
and uh, what we're doing tomorrow is undercoating the top section, the, the coach roof, I suppose that's what you call it, and the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the teak wood, which is so worn, we need to do that. We're also um, undercoating the bowsprit, and we're going to paint that, and we're actually doing the hull from the top sides there, in that blue sort of rubbing stripe. So, so that's where we're up to, basically. Looks like from over here. Yeah, I suppose you can see a bit better stand in the shade here. So yeah, so that's where we're up to now, day 24. The last week or so has basically been uh, bogging and sanding, bogging and sanding. So there we go. As you can see, the boat's had its first coat of gloss. Just go up a bit like that. So this is the first coat, the bow sprit and the, uh, the rubbing or that rail at the top there. It's also undercoated but not glossed and that'll be painted as well. Coach roof is all painted. Looking pretty cool. I'll just go to the other side. It's the other side. Oops, don't have to bump my head on the boat that's there. So that's what it looks like at the moment. I'll go down the back. This is view from the back. First coats. Tomorrow will be Sunday. This is day 26. Tomorrow will be day 27 and we're going to go do the next coat. Okay. Ciao. Well, this is day 28. <laughs> 29 four weeks and it's had its uh, two coats of gloss and the the top rail there has had two coats of its sort of color to make it look like a teak color and there we have it so now i've just got to uh, start putting a few fittings through the hull and uh, getting ready for the anodes all that sort of thing and um, just do some final sanding downstairs i'll just move over here we are looking from the bow towards the back and this is just painted with a roller enamel so there we go and more to come here we are on launch day uh, five weeks five weeks today and we're going in very very shortly it's going to lift us up and i'm just going to finish a little bit andy fowl on the bottom and then uh then we're going in so i'll just have a quick walk around you can see and that's basically sort of what she looks like now and there's the bit we added on there so yeah the ladder's just about to be moved and, well, you can't quite see the new name, we'll show you that in a moment. But yeah. Thank you, Lado. Now we get the big reveal of the name. So. There we go. Serenity. So enjoy. Oh. Big helicopter. Let's zoom on in on the helicopter. There we go.
Well, here we are back in the pen. So that's what she looks like from the top now. So I'll just check it out from the back as well in a minute. That's from the back of the pen. There you go. Serenity back in the pen and it's uh, Tuesday. Um, it's around the ooh, I don't know, second week of uh, November.